Fortuna Silver just reported fourth quarter and year-end 2021 financials. Is this a company we want to continue to hold on to? It's one I follow closely. I have some ideas. Let's dig in and find out. All right, guys. So what happened in the fourth quarter with Fortuna? We know this. They had record sales of $200 million, and they had record EBITDA of $90 million. You can't argue with those good numbers. Now, when you switch over to the balance sheet, let's take a look at the snapshot of where the company's financial condition stood at the end of 2021. We know they had $2 billion in real assets. That's cash, inventory, uh, the value of their mines that they're carrying on their books, $2 billion. This company has very little debt, so their total liabilities were $600 million. That leaves about $1.4 billion in net, net tangible assets or equity, I guess you could say, uh, that the company owns. Okay, $2 billion in assets less $600 million in debt. You got $1.4 billion left over. What's interesting is that the market cap of the company is less than that, still at $1.2 billion. I think it's so important to look at the balance sheet. That shows you kind of what you're getting, what the value uh, of what you're getting when you buy the stock. So when you buy a share of Fortuna stock, you're actually getting more assets even after they take their debt out. It's very key to understand that. Now, another key factor to look at is that Fortuna generated free cash flow during the fourth quarter, $30 million in free cash flow. So right now, when you buy the stock, you get the company for less than the, uh, the value of the assets, plus those assets are generating free cash flow. One final thing I want to bring up about Fortuna, uh, that record revenue number, okay, that was obviously from the fourth quarter. In the first quarter, we have had a gold price, which looks to me to be about $100 per ounce higher on average. That would mean that if production numbers, even if they stay just about the same here in the first quarter, we're going to see another quarter of record revenue. Okay. Uh, also, something to consider if you can look out past one quarter, if you look out to a little over a year from now, they're going to have another new mine coming on board in uh, Africa, the uh, Seguela project in Cote d'Ivoire. So if you factor those two things in, higher precious metal prices plus continued increased production, um, you know, the company is going to continue to grow and going to continue to generate positive free cash flow, which eventually will mean that the market cap of the company will meet and then far exceed the underlying value of the assets that I covered earlier in my video. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. You're always welcome in Ron's basement. I'm glad you're here. I just share my idea about stocks. Don't make any financial decisions based upon the information that I'm sharing with you today because you are looking at my crystal ball. I'll talk to you soon. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do that right here. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.